What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content okay man super bowl 59 is right around the corner and we all look forward to the halftime show man and considering the fact that the super bowl is going to be in new orleans this year everyone was expecting little wayne to get the nod for the halftime performance show right but they selected kendrick lamar man and people are in a frenzy upset calling out jay-z saying that he's all kinds of wrong man and whack 100 is reacting to the news of Lil wayne not getting selected and he's saying that the super bowl is bigger than new orleans the super bowl is bigger than louisiana the super bowl is a worldwide event and people really want to see the hottest artist right now and after defeating drake in a battle kendrick lamar is hot as fish grease right now it is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to wag 100 shout out to 100 ent this is getty radio let's go So everybody want me to speak on this Super Bowl situation. Look, I'm mad about the situation just like y'all, man. But, you know, my hatred is toward the NFL. You know, not really not really the people that book the halftime show. I'm mad at the people that hired the motherfuckers that booked the halftime show. I feel like y'all should step in. Y'all done through 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on the damn Super Bowl. Sure, y'all have put all this on the Super Bowl back in the days. So y'all hurt, uh, and uh, the list goes on. Not too many, not too many. You know, I feel like every time y'all come here, y'all should have somebody from our city on the shit. But this time, it really stick hit hard when you don't have Lil Wayne on the show. I don't see how the f y'all don't have Lil Wayne doing a halftime show. Somebody that has a whole bunch of fucking hits and somebody that really deserves it and somebody that can bring out multiple artists of all genres. Think about it. So this goes to you, Roger Goodell. You need to get it right, man. You coming in our city, sucking up our cultures and making up all this money and putting all this bread in your pocket, putting all this bread in other people's pockets and walk and leaving us dry, hanging us dry. You gotta stop. I mean, it seems like all these New Orleans artists are really feeling the same way. Uh, <clears throat> but here go the thing, right? <clears throat> Let me just give everybody a different way of looking at it, right? New Orleans is a very minute factor when it comes to the Super Bowl. New Orleans is a very minute factor when it comes to the halftime show. Any motherfucking city is a minute factor when it comes to the Super Bowl and the halftime show. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, more people are going to fly to New Orleans to go to the Super Bowl than the people actually from New Orleans. Second of all, the viewership of the Super Bowl and a halftime show is what drives is what drives everything up when it comes to the commercial ads and all that shit. So when you think about it, they're based it on who the people want to see right now. Viewership mm. nationwide. This is not about who New Orleans wants to see right now. They're based it on who the people want to see right now. And unfortunately, Kendrick Lamar is hot as a motherfucker firecracker if the whole kendrick and drake shit wouldn't have happened i don't think kendrick would have been the one selected right now i believe he might would have made super bowl next year which is in the in the bay um but i think it's another i think it's another it's another l for drake because you fueled the situation to get him hot which he now is kind of sort of in his own little way in your backyard but um New Orleans is not a factor when it comes to the NFL selecting who's doing that halftime show. The city that is in is not a factor. <clears throat> it could be, but they base it on viewership. The viewership is more dominant than what's in the motherfucking arena. It's giving motherfuckers just hating on fucking Kendrick because motherfuckers was not saying nothing when Beyonce performed 10 years ago. Nobody was saying nothing about no damn Lil Wayne 10 Thank years you. ago. Yeah, Beyonce. well, you mentioned the one. Right, let's not, let's not Kendrick Beyonce Lane. Let's not do that. That's too different. But no, I'm saying though, situation. her performing like nobody said nothing, and nobody the mentioned Lil was, Wayne. Yeah, you mentioned the point. They haven't had a rapper, is what he's saying, at the Super Bowl mm, okay. in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. 
Now you guys are opening a lane up for a rapper to do the halftime show in New Orleans and you go get somebody from somewhere else when you got the likes of Lil Wayne <clears throat> or whatever, or just the crew or whatever it may be, what they saying. So when it's a lane for a rapper, all of a sudden you overlook the rappers of New Orleans, oh, the rappers of Louisiana in general. That motherfucker could have, yeah, you know, you know, the South, just Louisiana. Now you got hey, shit, you got all kind of motherfuckers in Louisiana. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just Louisiana alone, you know, Kevin Gates, Boosie, uh, Chris, the whole Cash Money crew, um, you know, whoever's around from No Limit, um, you know, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing some other people, but I, I just know the NFL, they going to like, all right, what we doing? Now, Jay-Z definitely got some say-so, and if I ain't mistaken, I believe Lil Wayne took a shot at Beyonce one of them songs. I really believe that happened. Matter of fact, I know that happened. In New York, it's just, they play the long game. Nigga, like Jigger play the long game. I can hear I can hear him. I helped you out on the situation, and you took a shot at real So I think y'all looking at it like, you know, it's New Orleans, New Orleans. The NFL looking at it like, nigga, we ain't just depending on New Orleans. And right now... Hey, Wack, this is the first time I ever heard, ever heard a controversy over the city of where it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Have you, have you ever heard of it? First of all, you only got three major cities that's gonna talk crazy about it. New York, California, right? And New Orleans. Unless the motherfucker go to Detroit and they don't put them and them up there, ain't nobody else got nothing to say. Right, so even Chicago when- Chicago might have something to say because you got Kanye and the likes of Lil Durk and shit like that. So you gotta throw them Chicago, Detroit, New York, LA, New Orleans and Atlanta. Atlanta could talk some shit too. There's too many artists in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Whack, you wouldn't say that about Miami? Hell no, because I ain't on front. It's, it ain't a whole lot of niggas that can beat their chest down there. I'm, 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 tell me, give them to me, bro. We talking A list superstar type motherfuckers, bro. I'm waiting. <laughs> nah, hold on. I'm just being real. See, you got to understand. Detroit got them and them up there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Chicago, you got Kanye, Lil Dirt, motherfuckers like that. You know, you can even, you know, uh, shit like that, right? Um, L.A., it's a host of them. New York, it's a host of them. Atlanta, a host of them. Mm -hmm. New Orleans, you got the whole motherfucking cash money movement and, and, and just all through the state of Louisiana. So, all right, that's seven states. Now, I'm going to shut the fuck up. And you tell me what y'all gonna who y'all got Khaled? Nigga Khaled, I think I think he's from Louisiana. If I ain't mistaken. Yeah, he is. And then he moved to Orlando. Like yeah, he moved, like he, he was a, yeah, he I'm asking who the fuck was, we got uh uh what's my man Flo Rider? But Flo you know, you got Flo Rider might be the the one. Like this who else we talking about? Cause Flo Rider crossed over into uh, you know, the other shit. He you say Pitbull, Pitbull. They have Pitbull and Flo Pit Rider. Pitbull flow rider. There you go. That's some real Super Bowl shit right there. That's it. Like you like other than that, well, no, we just talking about people that if they win their backyard. But watch this. If the shit went to Florida and they say Lil Baby was opening up, wouldn't nobody be paying them wouldn't say a word. But I'm just saying they wouldn't I don't think they would fight shit. If they went You're to right. Florida and Lil Wayne opened up, they wouldn't fight that. I don't think you'll hear T Pain and nobody say nothing. It's the movement is just so dominant in New Orleans, right? And I'm just being real. I just really I don't give a fuck who they would have said. They could have said Lil uh Lil Dirt. They could have said Lil Uzi. They could have said any motherfucker body they said outside of a New Orleans motherfucker, it was gonna be a problem. If it wasn't a New Orleans nigga, or, or I mean, at the end of the day, all the, the biggest artists in Louisiana is out of New Orleans. Let's just keep it real. Exactly. Anybody fight that, <laughs> right? So that's gonna be like, all right, well, you gonna put Gates up there before Wayne? You gonna put Lil Bootsy up there before Juvie? You gonna put Hurricane Chris? You know? up there before you know what I'm saying any and them like you know what I'm saying we you know Lil Wayne it would have been they would have had Southern Grambling it would have been it's, I just thought I'm, I'm thinking outside the missing man. the point that dome is a minute factor when it comes to the world 
Check this out. <laughs> Nobody ain't got to show up to that motherfucker and the Super Bowl gonna still make money. Absolutely. Nobody from New Orleans has to show up to that dome. And I guarantee you at Pack Out regardless. There's more people from out of town mm -hmm. that come in town. Mm -hmm. They can take the Super Bowl and put that motherfucking Taiwan and people are gonna watch it. And guess what? People's gonna fly to Taiwan to go to the Super Bowl. Okay, right I now, okay, right you. now, worldwide. Okay, it don't matter, it don't Hi, matter. Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick or Wayne? Okay. Who's hotter? Kendrick or Wayne? Kendrick, for sure. All right, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 speaks on Lil Wayne getting snubbed for Super Bowl 59, even though it's being held in New Orleans, man. And a lot of people are blaming Jay-Z for this because he is the head of entertainment or the head of the halftime shows for Super Bowl for quite some time after the Colin Kaepernick thing. You know, they had to get a black face in there, so they chose Jay-Z to get up in there and, you know, calm black folks down and get them back to a level and bring out some entertainment, right? He did a great job out there in one Super Bowl he brought out Snoop, 50, and everything, right? I even tried to get 50 to not be on the show, but Eminem stood up for 50 to get him in there, man. But word is on the street, from what I've been hearing, according to Cameron and Mace, right? They said that Jay-Z got a personal issue with Lil Wayne, allegedly, man. I heard through the blogs that Lil Wayne said something about Beyonce, something of that nature. Even me, Wack 100 said that in this. He said he knows that Lil Wayne said something about Beyonce in one of his verses or song. And if y'all know that very or that song man put it in the comment section man but they saying that jay-z playing a long game man we already know in some circles they say that jay-z's a sensitive guy and he don't let nothing go man and he will take vengeance upon you man and this is the best way to get back at somebody man this is just business right this is what people are saying hey man if a person can hurt you in business they will do it man it's not like the streets it ain't like you piss somebody off you do somebody dirty they send somebody over there to hurt you to maim you to shoot you to stab you or to beat you up right don't happen like that in business they'll snub you they'll hurt your pockets they'll take an opportunity away from you and if this is what jay-z is doing to Lil wayne hey man can't be mad at him man you can't tell people how to fight their battles but Lil wayne was just out there with jay-z recently at the 4040 club so i don't know what's really going on right and i even heard that jay-z helped Lil wayne with his taxes at some point right so i don't really know what's going on right but how do you feel man do you think Lil wayne deserves the nod to be performing at super bowl 59 man what songs would Lil wayne perform i don't think Lil wayne got any family friendly songs right i'm kind of familiar with his catalog a little bit but what would he perform outside of fireman right what would he perform outside of fireman he can't be in there talking about having the sex with the officer right because it's a family event it's a family show what songs are he going to perform there it's just a question man but i will say this man if you're gonna let snoop dogg be up there crit rocking and 50 cent be up there talking the stuff that he talks in his songs then you might as well look little wayne perform cushion alcohol with future and john with rick ross man hey it's only right it's only only fair you got to accept hip-hop for what it is man and it ain't all clean and it ain't all beautiful but how do you guys feel about that man do you think that this is wrong and simply because it's in new orleans do you think that a new orleans legend should have a nod but i do believe that kendrick is going to figure out a way to get wayne and some new orleans folks on that stage man considering all the controversy around this event man i think he's gonna do it but he don't have to and you can't blame him for being hot right now this is just the way the game goes man the hottest person gets the nod and right now Kendrick Lamar is hotter than Lil Wayne man Lil Wayne is kind of on a downward trajectory on his career not lyrically he's still spitting fire but as far as selling records like he used to he don't do it no more you understand what I'm saying but he's still recognized as one of the greats or a goat in hip-hop right so we can't take that away from him but you also can't take away the fact that Kendrick defeated Drake he's hot right now he did it with a song he's got the song of the year the song of the summer and he probably gonna get a Grammy off that thing so I'm always happy when a hip-hop artist gets to perform on the Super Bowl, man. So I will be watching, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. This has been Getty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.